Speaking of that ongoing violence in the city, law enforcement officials in Buffalo are blaming the spike in shootings on gang rivalries. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Elzafon is live with the details. Good morning, Desiree. I'm in front of the Buffalo Police Department C District Police Station. The officers who work here are among those who are on the front lines of investigating that rash of gang violence and trying to clean up the streets. Police tell 7 Eyewitness News a lot of the violence is because of gang rival rivalries. The murder count in Buffalo now up to 62 this year. 10 of those homicides happened in December alone. The most recent, a 28 year old man shot to death Sunday night on Peach Street. In the last Few weeks, there's been an average of about one shooting a day in Buffalo. Now, more officers are patrolling the streets. They're following up on leads, asking people with information on these shootings and homicides to come forward. And as you heard earlier, arrests were made last night and more are expected. There is some gang involvement. Uh, these uh, instances are not random. These are people that are known to each other. Uh, these are individuals who are criminally involved, going after individuals in most cases that are criminally involved. And so that is a concern. Mayor Brown says the general public is not at risk, but I did speak with the council president after one of the recent murders who tells me he believes there is an increased amount of innocent bystanders becoming victims and that criminals and gang members are becoming more and more reckless. Again, though, that is another reason for ramped up patrols in the areas affected by these gang rivalries, by this increased violence. Now, 7 Eyewitness News also did speak with U.S. Attorney William Hochul. He is not expected, he is not prepared rather to call this increased violence gang related. However, he does point out that the FBI does have a special task force dedicated to investigating gang issues in Western New York. Live in Buffalo, Rachel Elzefan, 7 Eyewitness News.